A Bullock County mother says her son was shoved by a teacher who is now fighting to keep his job. New at 6, the effort to get the video of the public meeting where that teacher, the mother, principal and others told school board members about what happened. Lead investigative reporter Brett Buffington is live now on Georgia Southern's campus with more. And Brett, a journalism student there learned an important lesson last night. And it doesn't appear, Ben, that that journalism student did anything wrong. She showed up to cover a public meeting. Shocked to hear what she says the Bullock County School District told her about the video she recorded. This is the meeting where seventh grade teacher Mark Roundtree had to answer to the Bullock County School Board. So how you got? Yes, sir, I did. Thank you. In the recording, you can hear it sounds like a trial. So I responded to that feeling by pushing. But this is not a courtroom. Roundtree caught on video shoving a student was here to make his case to keep his job. And so I felt kind of professional. Katie Koblock is a student journalist at Georgia Southern. We broke this story about the teacher today because of her reporting last night. But getting her video out of that public meeting turned out to be quite a task. She told me a spokesperson for the school district told her. I could get like sued for having the footage. The district today told the WSAV investigative unit it did ask for the video, giving us a statement in part saying it wanted to hold the video until it could talk to Katie's teacher, adding that Katie did willingly give her recording over. The question today after WSAV sent an open records request for the video, should the school district have asked for Katie's recording in the first place. Georgia has a very strict open meetings law that explicitly allows public meetings to be recorded. Because she said I have no credentials as like a student and stuff, so I thought that like I was gonna be by myself and that like no one would be like behind me and helping me. Katie's takeaway today, journalist, look out for each other. And tonight we have reached out to the Georgia Press Association and the Georgia Association of Broadcasters attorneys for both of those waiting to hear back on what they think about this situation that happened with Katie. As for that teacher, we've asked the school district here for the video of this incident. We're waiting on that. The school district has five days to decide if this teacher stays employed. We're working to get their full statement up on WSAV.com right now. We are live on the campus of Georgia Southern University in Statesboro. Brett Buffington, WSAV News 3, on your side.